I'm going to show and go over the partnership tax return. I will also show the forms that flow the income and deductions to the partner's individual tax return. This is the Form 1065 Partnership Return. This return is filed with the IRS for informational purposes. In general, the partnership does not pay any tax. Instead, the income and expenses flow through to the partners. This is page 1, which reports certain income and expense items that are considered ordinary business income and expenses for partnerships, which follow very specific rules. In general, this is the income and expenses directly related to what the partnership is in the business of doing. Also note that these items would not be treated any differently if they were reported separately to the individual partners. Salaries and wages are deducted on line 9, but amounts paid to partners for their work are called guaranteed payments and are deducted on line 10. Taxes are not withheld from guaranteed payments to partners or withdrawals. However, partners will usually be taxed on their guaranteed payments and their share of the ordinary business income on line 22. The general partner or managing partner must sign the return, and any person paid to prepare the return on behalf of the partnership must sign below as well. Page 2 and page 3 are filled with informational questions about the partnership. In general, the partnership agreement may answer most of these questions. Page 4, Schedule K, reports the separately stated income and deductions that will flow through to the partners on their Schedule K-1. Line 1 is the amount of ordinary partnership income from page 1. All other amounts on this schedule are called separately stated items. These items have additional tax rules and will be treated based on the partner's situation. Separately stated items include various types of other income, interest income, dividends, certain depreciation deductions, charitable contributions, and other expenses. Page 5 is a check which reports the business balance sheet in Schedule L and then reconciles the adjustments made for tax purposes from book income on the Schedule M1. Lastly, the partner accounts are reconciled in Schedule M2. Certain amounts on all of these schedules must tie together and are therefore a check. Smaller businesses may not be required to complete all of these schedules and larger businesses may need to complete a more detailed reconciliation on a Schedule M3, which is a separate form. That's it for the main form 1065, only five pages long. Attached to the form 1065 is a Schedule K-1 for each partner, which reports their share of the ordinary business income or loss, their guaranteed payments, and separately stated items. These amounts are reported on the right in Part 3. At the bottom of the schedule in Parts J through M is information provided for the partner about the value of their partnership interest. Schedule K-1 is only one page, but page 2 provides a list of letter codes that may be used next to amounts in Part 3 to explain the nature of what the items are. Partners then report the income and deductions as the same character they were reported as. For example, if a charitable deduction is reported in Part 3, it is considered a charitable deduction for an individual partner to be deducted as an itemized deduction. Often, partnerships do not provide this second page with codes to partners with their Schedule K-1s. However, you can easily look up Schedule K-1 at the IRS website to find the page two codes for reference. When an individual partner does their tax return, the amount of ordinary business income or loss is taxed on the Schedule E. Page 1 of this form is for rental properties, but page 2 is used to report income or loss from Schedule K-1 for partnerships or for S-Corps. If you materially participate in the business as a working partner, then the ordinary income or loss is non-passive and reported in Box H. Otherwise, the income or loss is treated as passive in Box G. From Schedule E, the income flows to the individual's main tax return, page 1 of the Form 1040, for income taxation. 
If the income is considered non-passive because the partner is working in the business, then the income flows from Schedule E to Schedule SE for self-employment tax. Self-employment tax is 12.4%, Social Security, and 2.9% Medicare. The self-employment tax is added to the individual's income tax on page 2 of their Form 1040. Individuals also receive a deduction for AGI on page 1 of the Form 1040 for one half of the self-employment taxes paid. Keep in mind that tax rules are not intuitive, nothing about them. So when you try to apply the information in this video to your situation, you will have questions because there are a lot more rules. So ask questions and be sure to find the answers for your situation.